Well, here we are live back in Jacksonville, Florida. It's been a pleasure. I had a crowd behind me and some people coming up to me saying the, the mayor is here. And I said, well, bring the mayor over for our little uh, seven on seven that we got here with Drayton Florence and his Drayton Florence Foundation. Mayor Alvin Brown, it's so nice to meet you. And uh, we were just talking earlier. Tell us some of the great things that are going on in Jacksonville that you'd like people to know. People are watching us all over the country. And we're streaming it. So tell us some good things about Jacksonville. Jacksonville is on the move, you know. Uh, we've got a lot of good things going on, more jobs here. We're 36,000 new jobs. We're the number one city if you want to start a business. Uh, we got a downtown that's thriving and, and, and doing well. Uh, and we have a great, great sport and entertainment uh, division here in the city. I believe in sports. I think it speaks to the game of life. And I'm happy to be here at Sheffield uh, at this 7 on 7. I think it's great because I just got through talking to some of the football players who were playing, and I told them they're playing the game of life. This is about opportunity, and they have to have a focus. Uh, and the three things I talked about all over the city I talked about is you got to know your purpose, you got to have passion, and you got to know where your power comes from. So Jacksonville is a blessed city that has great, great people here, good business community, good faith-based community, good civic leaders, uh, all working together to improve the quality of life, no matter what side of town you live on here in the city of Jacksonville. I'm getting goosebumps just listening to you, man, and I know we have a friend in common because before we went live and we started talking, I introduced uh, myself to Alvin and the Keeping Dreams Alive Foundation and uh, brother from another mother, Silk Cozart, and Silk's best friend and his brother, Martin Luther King, and, and you said your personal friend. Tell us about that. Yeah, I've known Martin for at least 25 years, a great guy, uh, salt of the earth. I had an opportunity to serve on the board of directors uh, for the Southern Christian Leadership Conference when he was president. And I had an opportunity uh, when I was uh, running the foundation here to have Martin Luther King III, Coretta Scott King, Yolanda King, Bernice King all come to Jacksonville for my annual ML King breakfast uh, to empower young people academically by writing an essay contest on how do you want to improve uh, and, and really redeem Dr. King's dream. And so very close to Martin. He'll be here actually in a couple of weeks uh, to Jacksonville, and I will let him know about the dream is being kept alive through the foundation. Absolutely. And one of the core beliefs that we have, this is, a, we call this the carrot you know, to get the, to get them involved. But we're all about academic mentoring and Keeping Dreams Alive Foundation is, is, is academic mentoring. Uh, we want to them to learn how to use their athletic ability, pay for a great education. So one of the things we do that we specialize in at HSPN, and my son Ryan Stout is over directing right now, is that we get all the coaches around the country that are at the small school, maybe the Ivy League schools, to tune in to watch these kids that are flying under the radar, we call them. Now, we're teaching them to put a number on that jersey because we can qualify them with their grades, their GPAs, their Pell Grants, because that's money out of another school, and identify these players like no one else does it. So what we do with KDA and what we're connected and we're just loving being with Drake Florence is his foundation as well. It's all about the kids for us. And to hear you and your passion and the freshness of what you bring into Jacksonville, man, I mean, I'm just ready. We just hung up with Emerson Martin. He's another one of my partners who played for Pittsburgh Steelers and and I'm listening to Emerson getting chills and his passion, and, and he's probably listening to us right now. And then Alvin walks up, the mayor, and we got all this exciting stuff going on. I want to thank you for what you're doing. And is there anything else you want to share with the folks around the nation about Jacksonville? Sure. You know, Jacksonville is a great city, a very diverse city. It's the largest city in the country uh, in terms of land-wise. Uh, and we have uh, beaches. We have a great downtown on the St. John's River. But I'm big in sports and entertainment. So this field that we're playing on today, I cut the ribbon on this field a couple of years ago because I use sports as a way of really mentoring and, and nurturing young athletes. Uh, we've launched the Mayor's Mentors Program. I have 600 Karen adults mentoring young people. So I use uh, sports as a way of connecting. Uh, and I think what you're doing is great. I'm very proud to know that you're doing it right here in the great city of Jacksonville. And I look forward to, to working with you in the Drayton Foundation because at the end of the day, it is empowering the next generation of young people with the, with the purpose that, they, that God has for their life they get up every day with passion and know where their power comes from. Aim into that, brother. And it's so it's a breath of fresh air. I'm freezing my South Florida butt off, but it's a breath of fresh air. And I'm so glad and proud to meet you and be standing with you. And you said history because this is a history-making event for us. 
and we're getting ready and people around the country are looking at Jacksonville now and Emerson and Bob Winston and Silk and I are looking at bringing a big state championship Hello? national championship and we're looking for that city and it may just be Jacksonville bro. Jacksonville is the way to be I can guarantee you right now live uh, that I would partner with you I'll have my director of sports and entertainment Dave Harrell uh, reach out to you and we can figure out a partnership I mean we are big and sports and entertainment. He's right now in Little Rock at an NCAA women's basketball game. So I am telling you, you're at the right place at the right time. And this is how God works. He brings his people together to support uh, causes that really make it happen for young people. Well, it'll be about 200 teams. It'll be next summer. And I can guarantee you that Emerson and Bob, who are watching right now, are standing up, and I can feel it. Uh, Silk, my brother Silk, is, is is going crazy because they're being courted by a couple of cities and in comes the mayor and you say it doesn't happen by chance my brother and i thank you so much for taking this time and invigorating me warming my heart and i need to warm up because the temperature is going down and i'm looking forward to talking to you in the near future thanks for having